Friends of Cape and Park Zoo is an organization that helps fund special projects at the zoo. The Friends hold several events a year to raise funds for their projects. For the past four years, the group has held annual passport galas that transform the zoo into different locations around the globe. This year's passport gala is Passport to India, which takes place on September 13th. Guests at the gala will be immersed in Indian culture and will be served an authentic Indian meal. Friends of Cape and Park Zoo board member Dave Spensoner visited us at the AACS studios to share details about the event. So my name is Dave Spensoner and I'm uh, a member of the board of the Friends of Cape and Park Zoo. This is an organization that was founded in 1983 uh, and our mission is to support the zoo in education and conservation. The sorts of things that we do for the zoo include special projects. So the zoo is funded primarily by uh, the city of Attleboro, but for anything new that comes on board, for example, the splash pad or Lemur Island, the uh, director of the zoo, Gene Benchamal, looks to us to be able to, to fill in. And so uh, we're happy to, happy to provide that service. Uh, we raise money and uh, then we, we spend the money on the zoo. Uh, you, maybe you recall a couple years ago, uh, Gene brought in a, a white alligator and so the friends paid for the tank that the, the white alligator was in. Uh, and, and really, that's, that's where the friends come in, is for these special things. The, the, the money from uh, people paying their taxes and from uh, the, the admission fee, that goes to the daily running of the zoo. But any time that there's something new or something special, that's when there's not money in the budget and, and Gene will come to the friends. We do a variety of uh, projects. We help out, uh, for example, on September 6th, we'll be uh, helping out at the, at the big Attleboro 100th anniversary. We'll be selling um, uh, water and soda uh, at that event. Uh, but also we have uh, an annual event. This year is our fourth annual passport event. This year we're going to India. Our passport events are, are these gala affairs where we take the zoo and we transform it into a different part of the world. And so, for example, the first year that we did Passport to Africa, we had a souk where we had people selling little trinkets, we had a silent auction, we had African music, we had African dancers, we had um, artists with, with African artwork. And, and really the goal is to, to help people, whether they're from Attleboro or from the, the surrounding area, to really feel like they're in that place. And whether they've been there or not, it's just, it's a, it's a great way to kind of immerse yourself in the culture. Um, the second year we did Passport to Rio. And so we had, um, we had dancers and music from, from Brazil. And we had food from, from, um, uh, from Brazil. And, and just, it, it's a transform the zoo uh, in, into Rio. And then last year we did Passport to China and again, transforming the zoo. So we had uh, a consulate where we had Chinese money and, and Chinese books that you could look at. And we had uh, dragon dancers and we had Chinese music and again, Chinese artwork. So really it's, it's a way to, to learn about the culture and learn about that specific area. Our big gala coming September 13th, Passport to India, will begin with people arriving at the zoo after the zoo is closed to the public um, in the evening and they will be given a passport and they will come in and there will be tented areas set up with different uh, attractions for them. There will be food that will be provided by Apna Punjab, uh, a, an Indian restaurant. It, there are some vegetarian choices as well as things with meat. So if, if you're f afraid that, oh dear, will there be anything I can eat? Oh yes, there absolutely will. There will be a silent auction that has uh, wonderful things in it. We appeal to, I think, 200 or 300 different places and restaurants and um, various venues for gifts for our silent auction. So they're, and they're usually put together in baskets. So you could win, well, you could bid on and win on a basket that's sports oriented and get tickets or sports memorabilia. You could bid on a basket that is uh, theater and music oriented. Uh, along with the silent auction, there will be music, 
um, Indian music. There will be dancers. There's going to be a henna tattoo artist. So if you're brave, but you never wanted to have a permanent tattoo that would be on you till you were 90, you may want to try a henna tattoo. That may be just as much as you want to do. There will be a consulate at the Passport to India so that you can come in and get some information about the country itself. Um, we're plan they're planning to have some ladies show, and I think this of course would be more interesting to the women who are coming, show us how you wrap a sari so that you don't look like you've wrapped yourself in your beach towel, you know? <laughs> it looks elegant and lovely. At each place that you go, you'll get a little stamp in your passport that you're carrying around. And you'll be able to, if you fill your passport at the end of the evening, you'll be able to put it into in for a special drawing. The event is 21 and over because there's a bar. Um, and, and the tickets are $50 a person. That includes your dinner and the music and the entertainment. Um, we hope that you'll bring some money for the silent auction, obviously. The purpose of this event is not just to expose people to India and the Indian culture, but to raise money for the zoo. There are three places you can get tickets for the event. You can come right into the front of the zoo, the zoo entrance, and buy your tickets in the office there. You can also go on the website, on the Capron Park Zoo website, to the Friends of Capron Park Zoo, and there's a, you can do it online, which some people may prefer. And you can also buy the tickets at Apna Punjab Restaurant. They have tickets for sale there also. Uh, this event is planned for September 13th, rain or shine. We do have tents, so you will be covered even if we have a monsoon. Um, and uh, it's one week after the big gala for the birthday party for Attleboro. So you have two weekends in a row with wonderful things to do.